sweet potato farmers want predictable yields, a goal that's not consistently achieved. So researchers are trying to reduce that crop variability. An important research effort focuses on storage roots. Storage roots become the actual sweet potato vegetables. There have been conflicting scientific interpretations of the origin of storage roots and the timing of storage root initiation. Now, new LSU Ag Center research is showing that proper care of the plant at its earliest stages can create more storage roots and more dependable overall crop yields at harvest time. Storage roots come out of the nodes on a transplant cutting called a slip. Future storage roots come from these nodes. Roots become fully developed in the soil at about six days. Each of these roots has the potential to become a storage root. That's why it's important to optimize the growing environment during the crucial first five to 20 days. These early stages determine the number of storage roots per plant or hill, and later on, the potential yield of the crop. Researchers at the LSU Ag Center are finding that proper soil moisture affects the number of roots that are developed from each plant and the number of storage roots that are going to be initiated. At five days, roots already show anatomical cues for storage root formation. At nine to 15 days, further root development occurs, including the development of lateral roots and of the primary cambium, which determines the plant's anatomy. At 15 days, we can't see it, but if we cut the root open and examine it under a microscope, we would see cells dividing. Those cell divisions are responsible for an increase in the size of the root. That increase is a good sign that the root is going to become a storage root. After 30 to 35 days, we see the results of that cell division, which translates into an increase in the number of visible storage roots, as well as an increase in diameter. That success goes back to the growing environment at five or six days when the corresponding roots were first emerging from the cutting or slip. As early as 13 days under optimum conditions, storage root formation occurs. At 30 to 35 days, initiated storage roots are now visible with localized swelling. Newly formed cells from the dividing cambia contribute to storage root growth. Recent findings show that the anatomical indicators of storage root formation are related to the density of lateral root branching. Roots that do not become storage roots undergo a process called lignification. Knowledge about storage root formation and root architecture can be used to identify factors that promote storage root formation and reduce lignification. For instance, recent findings indicate drought conditions or too much water can reduce lateral root development. This underscores the importance of proper management of soil moisture through drainage and supplemental irrigation. Non-uniform soil moisture helps explain the variability in storage root yields. One of the keys to achieving consistently successful yields is to apply the correct amount of water at the appropriate time. That can translate to a successful harvest for growers. Researchers are also investigating the role of nutrients, temperature, and other variables in optimizing conditions that lead to consistent storage root formation and better yields 